Talk about Saturday's game a little bit. Um, maybe the the most complete four quarters the team has played so far this year. Um, you know, I still feel like we still haven't reached our full potential that we have, but we, you know, when we all do fire on all our cylinders and every player's doing what they need to do, we get the job done. It's, we didn't lose any focus going into halftime. I mean, the weather really wasn't any, any distraction. I just feel like we were focused, ready to go. Was there a different, I mean, we've talked a lot about the roller coaster, good a quarter, bad a quarter. Was there, talk about it or what did you do differently? Because it felt like, I mean, that, that never happened this week. Yeah, I mean, we've definitely realized as a team that like, before this game, it seemed like the first quarter and the third quarter were always our best quarters, you know? But I feel like we, we all have been harping all week, just practicing hard and just really just focusing on all four quarters and not letting the energy go down regardless of what the weather is or who the opponent is, so. It seems like the last few weeks, and really the last five weeks, I guess, but the, the running game has been more effective, more efficient. And it seems like it's a little bit more explosive. Is that because the hole to get through is bigger? Is the timing between the offensive line and running backs better? What has been the difference? I would say both those things. You know, our, our line's been working hard, and just our running backs have been patient, reading the holes out. You know, like if a hole doesn't hit front side, you can always try to hit it back side. And if nothing else is there, we got playmakers, we just make plays happen. So. Let's talk about your progression a little bit. I mean, it just seems like you're seeing the, the hole better, hitting it harder, and just, just really in sync at the, at the tailback position. Just talking about your progression throughout the year and just how you're comfortable you are right now. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm very comfortable now. It's, you know, this is my first year running back, and I kind of had to get the feel for it. But it's just each week I feel like I'm getting more patient, letting the holes develop. And, you know, if there's nothing there, I've got the speed and – physicality to make something happen anyway so you know as you get set to play central uh, Missouri when you're watching film what what about their defense do you, will you guys be focusing on this week um I still need to dive into some more film but I'm we're just worried about us you know it's us versus us if we play at our best that we can play at then we can take on any team that comes our way when you, I mean, obviously their offense has put up big numbers. It's, everybody, I think everybody's seen that. As an offense, do you, do you feel that, okay, that's a challenge for you to help their defense out by sustaining drives and, and putting points up and, and matching some of the, you know, video game-like numbers they put up this year? Oh, yeah. It's honestly, it's, it's encouraging. You know, it's like, this is what I want. I want, I want to battle. I want to show who's the better offense. And, you know, our defense is – really good. I think they're ranked, what, 11 in D2? Like, our defense is going to go out there and make a statement, and offense is going to play off their energy, so. Talk about two games left, and obviously this is a, a huge game with a lot on the line. Just to be in this position after the a bit of a rough start and, and, you know, the tough loss of Missouri Western, just the resiliency of you guys to, to find yourself in Week 10 and, you know, everything in the world to play for here these final two weeks. Oh, yeah. I mean, this is right where we knew we could be, you know. Um, I mean, we all know we could have had that Missouri Western game, but you can't do anything about the past. But we just keep putting on one game at a time. And like I said, it's just us versus us. And we go out every day, practice hard and play hard, and then let the games and the scores take care of themselves. So. Coach mentions, and I've, and I've heard players mention this a little bit too, but after up until this last week, team was pleased the fact that they won but not necessarily happy in how that they won games was saturday's game a little bit more pleasing to for everybody in the locker room afterwards yeah it was you know it's always awesome when defense gets a goose egg but you know off offensively it was also great to score 34 but we know we could have put 50 on them so we're never satisfied where does that not being satisfied come from because that at times can be just the absolute achilles heel for an individual player or a team, but it seems like this entire team is like that. You know, I mean, we still got we still got statements to make. We still have two games to win to make playoffs, and our whole goal this whole season has been to make playoffs. So, you know, seven two is great, but making playoffs is better. The beginning of the year, you guys were picked near the bottom of the MIAA. Do players look at that? Is that is that a thing? I hear teams and coaches say, "Oh, none of that ever mattered." Did you guys look at that? Oh yeah, I mean. 
I, I took it personal, but we knew last year wasn't our team, and we had all our guys come back and have more guys now. And you know, I had it as my screensaver for a little bit, the our rank, but there's just more fuel to the fire. Just prove people wrong, chip on our shoulder.